Dangerous Minnows and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So I know typically I like to do the Vegas vlogs, and you guys know I'm here to help you guys get the most out of your Vegas experience. Um, but today I thought I'd go ahead and mix it up a little bit. So what my plan was is I was fixing to go ahead and show you guys how you could take advantage of comps at your locals, or at least how your locals can help you take advantage of comps at your Vegas casino of choice. See, recently the Isle Hotel Casino Hotel Blackhawk, as well as the Lady Luck Hotel Casino in Blackhawk, Colorado, have both been acquired by Caesars Entertainment by the way of the El Dorado merger. So, I actually do have a little bit of a throwback Thursday for you here. Gonna go ahead and show you our trip report from October 2019 before this whole mask epidemic started up and then you guys get to see what a local's experience is like and see if that's the best way for you to kind of supplement your points or else if you want to just kind of save your pennies for Vegas and no, we're not just talking about Mark on this one. So without further ado, here is our October 2019 Isle Casino Hotel Blackhawk trip report. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. The drive up to Blackhawk from Denver is actually pretty quick, roughly an hour from the city center with no special considerations. And what's up, Spenders and Sharps? It's a video series, and today I'm at the Isle Hotel and Casino here in Blackhawk, Colorado. And we're gonna go ahead and try the $20 trick to see if it actually works outside of Vegas. Let's get started. All right, made our fresh $20 sandwich here, and we're gonna give it a shot. From there, we checked into the Isle Hotel and Casino in Blackhawk, Colorado. Initially, we had booked a basic room, and then we ended up using the $20 trick to earn our upgrade to a junior suite. And walk on it. Oh, okay, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty slick looking here. So you got your first, Full body mirror over here. Moving up and down over this way. And then it looks like it's a sliding door to get to your bathroom here. All right, yeah, I'd say this is on par with most uh, Vegas rooms here. So you got your separate steam shower over here. So walk-in steam shower. And then you got a dual, you know, you got a giant sink. The differences are minimal, really. I think the bathroom is slightly nicer and the room is mildly larger, but definitely not enough to justify a price difference, so I wouldn't pay for it normally. No, we can do that. No, we can absolutely no, do this. No. All right, guys, Ace of Vegas here, and to hope you guys are all doing well. So today we're going to go ahead and do a nice little wander through of the uh, Isle Casino Hotel in Blackhawk, Colorado. Let me go ahead and get my ID out. We'll get started. The Isle Casino itself is pretty standard. Much like a lot of Caesars and MGM properties, this one is connected to its sister property, Lady Luck Hotel Casino Hotel Blackhawk, by a land bridge. I see a couple, of, there's a lot of slots on this level. There are a couple table games, but it's mostly slots over this way. Um, I don't think I've ever been downstairs. You want to check out downstairs? Yeah, but this this is the main floor. They got the Zephyr Bar over here, and that's a that's a nice little hangout spot if you just want to play a little bit of video poker. They'll copy your drinks and all that. Don't even need a player's card. They don't they don't really care around here, unlike Vegas. And then you got a lot of a lot of slots. It's a good slot spot. There you have an even larger selection of slot machines, a full video poker room, and of course even more table games. There are a few more restaurants to pick from as well, and if you charge it to your room, all charges at Lady Luck can also go to your room at Isle. Um, they also do have a meadery that does have New York Strip to the pork loin. I, I'll try the pork loin. I didn't try that. I tried pork belly last time. Hey, Jorge, como estas? Right, perfecto. And then there's my boy Jorge doing the omelet station, and he makes one hell of an omelet, so shout outs to Jorge here. We played some video poker and slots into the night, and were able to take advantage of Isle's sign-up promotion. 
If you signed up with their fan club and earned a measly 200 points, then you'd earn a free buffet. So win, lose, or draw, you come out ahead. So we decided to go ahead and use it on breakfast and save ourselves $30. We had tried the dinner option the night before and were so impressed that we decided to give it another go at breakfast. Also the only resort and spa in all of Black Hawk, Colorado. The other ones are uh, next door at Central City. After that, we decided to check out a few more options at the Black Hawk Strip for more entertainment. We came up a little short on bars, but there was never a shortage of slot machines or tables to play at. Casino, checking out Roxy's over here. That was our steakhouse that we went to yesterday. All right. That was top quality ribeye. How's everyone doing? Nice. All right, that's that Rocky Steakhouse uh, flair right there. We should take a picture of those. We also decided to sample our hotel steakhouse. I usually make it a point to go to at least one steakhouse in Vegas, and I figured I'd try it out in Black Hawk, Colorado too. Roxy is pretty solid. The service was good, and they were actually able to seat the half dozen of us as a walk-in on very short notice. And then we were able to finish out our weekend with, you guessed it, even more gambling. So the best part about Black Hawk is that it's very easy to walk, probably about a 30 minute round trip of the entire city. The table minimums are pretty low, so finding a $5 game of poker or blackjack, even on a weekend, is an easy task. The rooms are clean and offer both coffee and tea without any additional charges, so that's nice. And the drink service is generally a bit more consistent on a weekend than at comparable Las Vegas casinos. Doing coffee good? Good. Yeah, we're killing it. We're killing it out here. We're gonna make some money. Now for the bad news. Black Hawk, Colorado is not a late night town. Most restaurants are closed by 10, and most of the bars are closed by 12. So if you're interested in a late night party, move on. The pricing is also suspiciously similar to a four star property in Vegas, while amenities, accommodations, and atmosphere are three star at best. You guys know I'm not one of those guys that needs all the special frills, but I really didn't feel like I was getting a lot of bang for my buck compared to what I get in Las Vegas. Also, even though we weren't in the middle of the pandemic last year, there weren't any show options that weekend. It wasn't a holiday weekend, just a standard one in the fall, but there were no performance venues to be had. Also, the food options were limited. Isle Casino has a buffet, it has an obligatory steakhouse, and the usual quick casual cafe. All American food, so not many options. Bottom line there is, if you're not here to gamble, you're not gonna have that great a time. Overall, for a casual gambler though, Black Hawk, Colorado is a fine place to find a locals casino and build up a few extra points to take on your yearly Vegas benders. For my fellow Coloradans, keep in mind Isle Casino Hotel Black Hawk and Lady Luck Casino are both under the Caesars Rewards umbrella and they'll offer you points on your Caesars card for staying and playing. Otherwise, steer clear and save your pennies for Vegas. And yes, this time, I am talking about Mark. And that's it for today's video, Spinners and Sharks. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Stick around till Saturday if you're interested in Vegas, because I'm going to show you how I get all of my My Vegas loyalty points fast. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.